I couldn't stand water. <laughs> water is not something that I was very interested in. During the summers, we went to great summer camps. And one summer when I went to a summer camp, I remember trying to go by the older kids and not knowing the water goes deep as you move. I kept on walking and all of a sudden I fell into the deeper part of the water and when I woke up I was had to be rescued and so from that point I really didn't want water I didn't want to get put my head under water and so I just felt water and swimming was one of those boxes you just put in I just I'm not gonna learn how to do that I have two children, Maya and Jordan. My kids, they weren't exposed to water because I, I didn't realize that because I didn't like water, I never brought them near water. I'm tall enough now that I'll be okay in four feet of water, but they won't. My daughter joined Girl Scouts. Some one of the parents in Girl Scouts said the Y has grants and they'll help Girl Scouts learn how to swim. I said, okay, I have to find where this Y is. And so that's what made me reach out. Safety Around Water is an amazing program to give any child or person a very basic and safety-minded lesson about water. Because water is fantastic, but it is also very dangerous. I feel like being here in Plaquemines Parish and in Bell Chase area, there may be some pools, but there are a lot of bayous and canals and things. And it's not safe for a child to be around in this community and not have the basic survival and swim skills. So here at the Y, we're able to teach them those basic skills in case any kind of accidents would happen. They're like, we're really gonna do this? I said, yes, y'all have to learn how to swim. Y'all have to learn this skill. Now, mama, do you know how to swim? Don't worry about what mama knows, honey. You just have to learn, <laughs> you have to learn how to swim. You have to do it. So when they took their swim lessons, they tried really hard. Jordan was progressing so well in his swim lessons. He was in stage two. In the middle of his lesson, he actually went to the stage three swim instructor and asked her, can I join you? I, I want to come to your class. I just saw his, his confidence. I mean, I saw that he just felt so at ease with the water. I didn't know that he even en would enjoy water like that. Like my children enjoying water, that's insane. get to know the parents, you know, as we give the progress reports and the updates. And so I got to know Tanisha over the time and, you know, she was like, well, I don't know how to swim, but my babies are going to learn. And so I said, okay, how about when they pass a swim test, you're going to learn to swim. And she's like, okay, like, it ain't never going to happen. I really was thinking I'm going to humor Julie because I'm, there's no way you can teach someone in their thirties how to swim. So I got in the pool with my noodle. I don't know if it was less than three or four, and then she would say, okay, well, you just come catch this noodle from me. I mean, Julie kept moving further and further away from me with the noodle, and I felt myself going to her. I don't know how all those pieces came together, but it did. And the fact that I was swimming, and my arms and my legs was on top of this water, it was a feeling like no other, a feeling I never thought I would ever experience, ever. 